本当にそれはスーパーファミコンですかはい、そうです。スーパーファミコンです。Hey, what's up? This is Kevin san from CGR Undertow. The very special console review for you today. A Super Famicom. So, this is the, the Japanese version of what you might know as the Super Nintendo, a very beloved and best selling 16 bit console. So, this was released in November of 1990 in Japan. And it's Super Famicom, short for Family Computer. If, as you might know, the original 8 bit system was simply known as the Famicom in Japan. So, this is their follow up to that. And it has a pretty slick design, I'd say. A lot more smooth and rounded feel than the you know, North American Super Nintendo, which is really blocky. But there's your controller ports there. Your buttons are set up a little differently. There's your power switch. There's your eject button. So it ejects cartridges out of there. And your reset button. And yeah, so there's. Use cassette with Super Famicom mark only. And that's the, the Super Famicom logo. It's pretty classy. And、uh, here's the Super Famicom controller. It's,、uh, you know, it's what you would expect, not too different from what you're used to. I did a full review of this, so definitely check that out for the, the details. But yeah, that plugs into your port as you would expect. It goes in right there. Alright. Now let's put in a game. Good as a console without some games, huh? So here's what a Super Famicom cartridge looks like. This one's even autographed by a Japanese person. Thanks.、Um, but yeah, you might be able to guess what this is. There's a vampire, guy with a whip. Yeah, this is what you know as Super Castlevania 4. But yeah, the cartridge shape is a little bit different. Here's、um, Castlevania 4. The Super Nintendo. So you can see it's got a more rounded feel to kind of match the console style.、Um, yeah, so the tops are similar, but yeah, just slightly different enough. And then you put your game in the slot, like so. You're used to this, right? There's the, let's test out the eject button. Bam! Ejected. And let's check out the back end here, too. Um, there's your power adapter port, RF out, channel 1 or channel 2. Yes, they have channel 1 in Japan. It's intense. And then、uh, your AV out, multi out, that's exactly the same as over here. So you can use the same, you know, same cables and stuff for this, which is nice. Well, there you have it. That's the Super Famicom and all its awesome glory. So, I hope you've enjoyed checking it out. Definitely keep an eye on Undertow for some more Super Famicom game reviews in the very near future. So, I'll be digging through my collection of a few titles that are exclusive to Japan that I happened to pick up while I was over there. So, definitely stay tuned. See you next time.